You guys being long-term no-till, did you notice any ruts in 18 or spring of 19 in your long-term no-till stuff? Or? I was surprised that you know, the rutting is is minimized. I mean, the soil structure, you know, he, he holds the equipment up a lot better. Usually you don't have trouble with ruts all the way across the field. It's, it might be some shallow sprayer ruts, but um, usually it's just maybe if you, well, if you get stuck, obviously, but when you turn around, you might have to go in there and level some ruts in those areas, but I'm not planning on doing you know any anything except in those areas where we got stuck and left some ruts turning on up against the water. And I had done tests, you know, 15, 20 years with deep ripping, and boy, the next year you really sink. So I found out that even through yield testing, that that deep ripping versus not touching those compacted areas, I was yielding just as well as or more than the areas that were deep ripped. I know this past fall we had some newer ground that we took on that the combines left lots of ruts and we have tracked equipment and in a lot of areas I had to send a guy out there with a coulter cart even though it was really really muddy and wet so I figured I'd at least try to hit those areas of the coulter carts just to help smooth them out a little bit because I'd rather go across that in the fall and allow a little you know freeze thaw action to help mellow the ground out and level versus trying to do it in the spring so that was my thoughts. Even in 19, I found out the driest, the driest fields I had was on weed stubble where I put a cover crop, which normally you would never think, but uh, just that cover crop made the traffic ability that much better. So, I mean, we do learn some things in this, this wet environment we have. So I do like having that firm base you know, compaction is, is a pet peeve of mine and traffic is, is a challenge. We're trying to use controlled traffic flow as much as possible, tram lines. Um, but still, when you got heavy grain carts going out there, or even in spring planting, when you have to cover a lot of acres and your window was pretty short, you're kind of, kind of forced to plant maybe in wetter conditions than what you should. Um, but yeah, I, I do like the effect of when you do make some ruts, they are much shallower than no-till.